Generic greetings and welcome to, well, welcome to France, actually. Today's beverage is a very stimulating coffee black, no sugar, very caffeinated indeed. So welcome to Classified France 44. I'm guessing if the game does well, we're going to see other classified, insert generic country here, insert generic time period here games. However, this title is a turn-based strategy game set at the run-up to D-Day, so we are in occupied France behind enemy lines and we are tasked with doing various missions to do things like assassinations, demolition work, saboteur missions and other type of things and gathering resources and setting up of uh, resistance networks etc. So yeah, very much enjoying the game as of late. I thought I'd just do a video uh, basically doing a bit of a play and display. I don't often feature strategy games on the channel and well it's strange because I do actually really like the genre and play quite a number of them but anyway so we're gonna do a mission and we're gonna have a look at the assassin's deed ambush mission so what does that actually mean well it means we're gonna recruit a scout uh, we know the location of a senior officer. Eliminate the officer and search for intel. Intel, it's a recruitment mission, it's an assassination mission, it does have a timer. Now, I'm not a fan of timed missions as a rule, although the timer may not be the primary objective, might be the secondary. There is barbed wire and it is an urban map, so that gives us an idea of the type of terrain that we will encounter. Now, there's three different types of missions in the game. There is stealth missions, where you can get your sneakers on and sneak around, and that means you can mainly stab people in the back all day long and the idea is you just stealth through the mission as much as you can. The ambush mission is a sort of mix where you start off very sneaky and you'll take enemies out silently and then it'll go hot where you start trading bullets and then there's the straight up <laughs> just assault mission which is going in guns blazing. Anyway, we have a number of people in order to tackle this, so I'm just going to go over to our base camp here. And the people that you, you start off with a couple of people, and then uh, you start recruiting uh, different members of your entourage, group, uh, saboteur, band, I don't really know what to call it. And each of these guys, so for example, this is, um, let's go to uh, Willard Jockey Cassidy, that's our leader here, and American, and they are, what are they in terms? of their class well they they have it's a leader class and you can go between like four different arms so commander hero officer and tactician each of these gives you different bonuses and such i'm bringing this guy up as commander so you can actually give commands what a surprise uh, we've also got things like um weapons that you can switch out and different grenades and all of that sort of thing we're not going to go into it too much uh, we do have uh, tom crown king who's a support class and specifically i just want to double check is he the guy that can silently yes yeah, sabotage skill cutting barbed wire it only costs one action point and does not produce noise that's what I needed to double check so yeah this guy is perfect for this type of mission um, what happens is you get uh, fatigue and such, uh, reducing like morale and AP and such, and you need to sort of rest them up. But I've got uh, a couple of uh, French resistance fighters. I've got an I've got an Aussie somewhere, I'm sure. Yeah, Ollie Grog Johnson, who's a heavy, and they have a Bren gun. Although I've recently picked up a bar. The bar has more damage, both physical and mental, but but less accuracy and less ammo than the Bren. I think the Bren famously accurate making it, ironically, not a great light machine gun, but uh, the bar, actually, I think there's also some discussion about how effective that was. Hmm, anyway, that's uh, a discussion for someone like, I don't know, Jonathan Ferguson, Keeper of Arms and Artillery at the Royals Armory in Leeds. Insert other references here. So let's go down to this mission, and I'm going to go with Cassidy King. I want to bring our stealth guy. This is, um... Actually, are they stealth guys? Uh, I think so. Hang on, let me double check. Those are a... They are a scout, yes, yeah, so they've got all the blade mastery stuff that I've went with, so that's cool. I, I love the options that you've got for for this, and then because I know it's going to go hot eventually, we're going to take <laughs> we're going to take Grog with the uh, with the Bren gun, and primary objective is extract with Comba, who's the person we were rescuing, and we need to eliminate the officer. That's the primary objectives, and um, the secondary is eavesdrop on the officer's meeting and kill enemies with Comba. Okay, and you get experience and resources I think uh, let's just launch the mission and see how well or not this goes so as I said this is a ambush mission so you start off in stealth you have a number of kills that you can make before it goes hot it's not actually a mechanic I'm a massive fan of I like the idea of being able to stealth and then go hot and loud but the problem is that you don't get a choice when it happens it's just after a certain number of kills which will be shown 
gather any intel we can and then we liquidate the targets. Okay. So yes, the enemies at the top are unaware and we have one, two, three, four, five slots here. Every time we get a kill, it fills a slot up. As soon as you fill it up, you go into your ambush. So we've been placed down the bottom here with our five characters, four plus the guy that we're rescuing. We've got some enemies around here who are... Look like Falshamiega. Yeah, Falshamiega. There's a couple of privates there. And is that a survivalist? No, it's a scout. So everything has health and morale and the damage and stuff that they're armed with and some special abilities. So, for example, weak spot. This unit is unaware. Suspicious melee attacks against them are guaranteed to kill. So we have to get over to here. And that's the primary objective. And eliminate the officer and extract. So we need to kill the officer here who may be on the ground floor and then extract at this location. However, the secondary objective is eavesdrop on the officer's meeting, reach the eavesdropping location before the meeting ends. Ah, okay. And it's seven turns until we do that and kill enemies with comba, which is we're on zero of three. So doing this secondary is good and we might do that, but I'm noticing uh, a couple of issues. Firstly, this guy's going to be patrolling this way, this guy's going to turn around, and this guy's going to come along here. Now, we have a, loads of barbed wire along that, and when we mouse over it, the game is very good at giving us information. And it's saying there that it's going to cost 4 AP, but it's going to create noise, which means this guy will be alerted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to King here, and I'm going to cut the barbed wire there because it only costs 1 AP for this guy and it's silent. So that wasn't overly silent, but at least he's cut the barbed wire. Um, next to that, what we're going to do? Well, I've only got 5 kills before it goes hot. And I know, or I'm guessing, there's going to be people over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this guy. And I'm just gonna... Oh, no, no, let's not do that. I was gonna say I'm gonna rush him up, but I'm not. I'm just gonna slowly creep forward into these bushes. The reason I'm staying in the bushes is because when you're in there, and it's in the stealth mode of the game, you are basically... Well, you're completely stealthy. You can't be seen. Um, I'm actually just gonna run up to here, hoping that there's nobody further left. And there are. So there's an enemy spotted there. So they're standing around. And you know what, this guy, I'm just going to run up, because looking at the patrol routes, even though we're in the open, nobody's actually looking this way. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to keep going then. Yep. And keep going. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. Don't want to move this guy, because he's in the bushes perfect stealth opportunity to maybe take this guy out when he walks past yeah so yeah everyone's moved up on the left hand side i think yeah the rough plan is to see where that guy ends up maybe take him out next time but focus our attention over here which could be a bit of a problem because of noise but more on that later let me just end the turn and let's see what the enemy patrol is going to do now one of them's going to go up the road hopefully he'll continue with that next turn this other falchimiega guy is continuing on and stopping there that's perfect for us to take him out i'm also seeing that there's a noise marker in the house so we know there's someone in there that guy's turned around and that guy's just standing there, and now it's back to us. Okay, so first things first, uh, this guy's going to turn back around, which is fine. The one on the road is going to continue up the road. Other guy, don't really know, but not too much of a problem. And this Falchimiega scout is looked to be heading over here. I don't know if they're going to go all the way around or just stop, but what I'm going to do is go to kill... Well, melee, and I'm going to take him out. Uh, so again, the game gives you lots of information, which is very handy. So it's going to create noise. That's in the yellow, but nobody's in range. At least not that I can tell. I don't think there's anyone in this house here around this part. But we can mouse around adjacent to them, and we can stand in any of those to initiate the kill. However, if we go forward, it would be detected, which obviously we do not want to be. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to, I'm going to stand there further back, because if this guy turns around... He might catch us. Oh, no, he's not, he's not going to catch us, but I'm just going to go here anyway. So, um, hold this. There we go. That guy has now been stealth takedown, and we've got one meter on the ambush meter here. A one thing on the ambush meter. So, what's concerning me is there's some barbed wire here, but I can sneak around that side and this side. This guy's turning around, but this fellow, they're too close to one another. Okay. Well, I can get this guy 
stealthed up and sit in them bushes. So he's not going to... No, hang on. Falchimir get improved heavy. Covering fire deals high morale damage, attacks disrupt overwatch. So it's a new type of enemy that we've encountered. And he was there. Okay. So anyway, yes, as uh, long as you're standing in the the bushes, you won't be detected. The problem is there's only a certain number of bushes over here. Okay. Well, who's the best to do this? Probably this fella. I'm moving. Gonna creep up here. I'm gonna bring another one over, but I'm gonna keep the other one at the back. Yeah. So What's up? We need to kill with hmm? this guy. So I'm gonna bring him up oh, too. Because we need to kill at least three enemies with him for the secondary. I'll try and go for the secondary as much as I can. So I've just brought the other one up. So he's in cover. He's in cover. A couple of guys in the open, but I'm not too bothered about that one. Um, uh, do we have any AP left? I do have an AP with this guy, but I'm going to keep him where they are. So we'll end the turn. Five more turns until the meeting ends. So I need to basically start doing some, some stuff now. Uh, ah, the guy is going to start walking back down the road next turn. Okay. That could be a bit of a problem. I'm seeing some at the back as well, and there. Hmm, alright. Well, I guess I'm going to get this guy into cover around here. I say, always put them in cover, because even if they're right next to you, they will not detect you. I want to get... Can I take, get a... Oh, ooh, that's an interesting one. I can get a kill with him. Okay, well, he'll get in the bushes, and this is going to go, hmm, this is going to be interesting. So, with the scout, with Comba, I can go to kill, and if I'm around here, I'll be detected, because the noise, it is a noisy endeavor, it's then going to alert him, and noise makes them turn to face the noise, and then they'll come towards us next turn. However, I just noticed there's a bush there. So if I do this, what should happen is we kill him. Noise will alert the other guy, who will then turn to face. But not detect us because... <laughs> yeah, because we're in the bushes. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm just going to end the turn there. This guy's then going to come towards the noise... And stand in a perfect location for us to go and stab him in the back next turn. Hmm. This guy's just turning around again, looking directly at us, but we're in cover for now. But we've only got four more turns in order to get downstairs. And there's a person there. And I don't know which way they're facing. Okay, so. This guy walking down the road is going to probably go there. Which means I should be able to take this guy out. There. And I'm using this guy because I want the action points to get further up with the other one. And, oh yeah, there we go. That's effective. And down the go. Right. This guy. 12 AP. And we'll get line of sight on whoever this is. Ah, oh, they're going to turn around. We should be okay though. And we need to get in there. Depends on who we're going to alert. And there's someone upstairs as well. Okay. But we can only take out one more person. Hmm. Yeah, we can only take out one more person before it goes hot. Alright. Well, I'm going to get I'm moving. this guy further back. I'm going to yes. have him stir where he is for now. What is it? This guy, I could take him out, but again, it's all about this ambush mate. It would be nice if there was a... You'd need to get to the minimum threshold before you can choose to activate ambush, rather than just automatically activating. Anyway, I think that's going to be it. Three more turns for the secondary. Let's just hope that this guy's corner vision doesn't catch us. I don't think it has. No, we're okay. 
Guy at the front door just standing there. Guys are talking here. That guy turns around. He's not doing anything. Right. Hey, so. Huh? He's going to turn around. I'm going to have to take him out. I don't have any choice in the matter. It is noisy. But it doesn't say it's going to alert someone because the... Ooh, that's close. It's there. Right, okay. So, there's them taken out. Stealth takedown, good. And I'm going to bring this guy up. Because my plan is to basically get in the building up here. Get in the second story and shoot down. Can't really do anything else with these guys. I need to keep them where they are. So two more turns before the meeting ends, and I don't know how we're going to get through that door, because it will make noise. Hmm. Well, the fun's in finding out, right? <laughs> One more kill, though, we will get an ambush. And I'm sort of out of position, really. That is caution. Caution. Why caution? Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do it. I'm I hope it doesn't alert anyone. There's that open. And moving out. we're going in. I'm moving. We'll go to there. And then nice move. this guy. Bring in. Moving. And objective complete. Okay. So, I'm going to head upstairs, because I might silently take out him. But basically, the time limit's now gone. We're now out of the time period, so that's fine. We don't need to do anything else. It requires time, should I say. So, that's good. Nice move. My concern is, we need to take the guy out downstairs. When do, we initi when do we initiate the ambush? I'll end the turn. We know there's two people inside that room. I'm thinking, open the door and rolling some pineapples in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of people about, and then there's whatever happens next. So... Am I going to go... Are we going to do the assault now? Yes. Uh, I'm going to open this door. Oh, I think someone turned around. No, they didn't. Right, I can take that person out silently and that will initiate the ambush. Seems like a good opportunity to do it. So I'm going to get in cover with this guy. Yes. I don't want to go over here. Um, I don't like the arc of fire on that one. Because I could open the door and kill him. This guy's more mid-range. Mm. Right. Take him out, maybe. I'd like to get behind a bit of cover. I'm here. Well, that guy we know is going to be dealt with. Down here, we've got these two doors. Pardon? Yeah. Hey, you need me. And it's not for some reason it's not on the ground floor. Can it alter the camera height? <laughs> there must be a way. There we go. So if I open that door, I think it's going to go all kinds of wrong. Who've we got down here? The Bren Gunner and the Thompson guy. Mm -hmm. huh? What's up? Yes. Uh, right, trench gun. Let's get behind some cover. I think I'm behind cover there. Yeah, because that guy's just going to get shot. Okay. But then he's going to uh, direct line of sight. It's not going to be... It's going to be suboptimal regardless of what happens here. But let's do it. So we'll put him behind cover there. We'll go to here and bring them... 
Yeah, to there. These guys will sort of stack up on the door. So I want to take both of these out in one go. And, well, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Go. So that's going to take the guy on the top floor. And objective completed. Kill enemies with combat. And ambush. Oh, a Falchimirga medic. Heals enemy health and drops medkits on death. So, we have them surprised. Attack. So we get the ambush. And... I think I'm just going to go to... Here. And... Let's see. Well, there's going to be some obvious choices. Firstly, I've got a shotgun. So... <laughs> trench gun. Dealt with. Good. Uh, for this one... Moving out. Open the door. Oh, I've got a satchel charge with this fella. Uh, right, that's not... Ideal. I don't think I want to be flinging a satchel charge in this building. Because there won't be much building left. I'm going to move to there. And... I'm going to shoot. So, what happens is they take damage, both physical and mental. When they get under half for the morale, they basically half AP. When they get to zero, they don't act. And, uh... Yeah. Let's get a grenade in there. One's taken out. The other one is stunned, so he won't get an action. That's fine. For this guy... I think I'm just going to shoot. Um... Friendly fire. That's friendly fire, apparently, there, because it can go through the windows. I'm just going to go... Shoot that fella, or... What else can I do? I can give someone an action point. Or six action points. I don't need to worry about the officer. Tell you what, I'm going to go with this fella up the top. And... Oh, if I was to shoot... Oh, this again, another great mechanic is that I'm able to shoot the medic at the back, but because this guy's in the arc of fire, it'll get both. Yes. So... Nice. So I missed the guy at the back. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm definitely going to give him some more action points. <laughs> so I can... Uh, yeah, I'll swap over to him and do the same thing again. Again, near miss at the back. But, oh, both of them misses, but I've broken the morale. Um, so you're not going to be doing anything. I'm going to not finish off this guy. I, I want to fling a grenade over there, I feel. To... To get him on half. No, you know what? No, I am, I am going to take this guy out. Get the grenade going. There we go. And now it's their turn. Okay, got my goons incoming. Get ready. Looks like the machine gunners run right at the back. That's actually good. So we're getting shot back. Near miss. Morale. Damage. No physical. And that's us again. So, low on ammo. Don't care. There we go. The guy's now down. But because they're an officer, you basically need to finish them off. And, um... Yeah. We'll do just that. Kill the target. So, there's the officer down. That is the primary objective complete. We now need to extract. So there's no point in me hanging around for no reason. Um... I'm going to Moving. head downstairs and get out the back. Move more. And let's do a bit of covering fire. I think these guys have got overwatch now. I can shoot nothing but that. You need me. Okay, interesting. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just uh, get back Move over the wall. And that's ah, going to cost four to reload. Okay, I'm going to overwatch... The door and window. Because if this guy comes running over, which I have a feeling he might do, we're going to have some problems there. And I'm also going to overwatch just the road. And, oh, good grief, here's the reinforcements. Uh, <laughs> there's loads of reinforcements. Again, another great thing is we get a choice to shoot now. Or we can wait. I'm going to ignore him simply because when reinforcements turn up, they can't fire. 
they don't attack in the turn that they arrive. I'm waiting for them to do something, which they're not doing. Oh, this guy's jumping out the window, and he's gonna stand there. Okay, they've just sort of stood there. Hmm. Well, I don't think I can fling a grenade with this guy very far. Actually, I can fling it really far with this guy. <laughs> it's the opposite of what I just said. He can fling it really far. Let's um pull back to here. And I can't reload his gun. Uh, I will overwatch. I don't think it's going to do anything. These guys... I really want to fling a satchel charge just out of a window, but... <laughs> I don't think I can. What I will do is just... I'll just run, run back. It's all about extraction now. Moving. If one of these comes around the corner, it could be a bit of a problem for me. Moving. But... Let's just pull back into cover. They have to come to us at the end of the day. We're trying to get to this point. And... There we go. So the medic's coming in. But we've got no line of sight. Enemies running around. Coming to the window. See, I was tempted to go to the front of the building and start firing out. And yes, I'd get a lot more kills. Which also means more experience and such. But I don't need that. I just need to uh, extract. I will, however, be a bit more cautious... Moving around this part. There's a high wall there which protects me. Move it. I'm gonna move this guy here. I've only got three AP, but it means I can overwatch there. Do you think I'll be able to fire a bit more with that gun? But apparently not. We also have a sidearm which only costs one AP to fire. Um, you is that fine? Can I get Overwatch with this fellow? I can. It's Overwatch there. Guy with a trench gun. Fling a grenade there. We know grenade. that there is a medic here. Oh, no longer the there is a medic. <laughs> and I think that is... Moving. Us. So they're running up to that wall, but they can't see over it. Oh! Someone's got an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that shot. Good shot. And the marked as well. Just because of one of his skills. Enemies coming in. I'm low on ammo. Uh, he can't really 50. do much. I don't. Uh, can I fling a satchel charge over that wall? I can't at this stage. The problem is, I can't extract this turn. I need at least a turn. I'm low on ammo! of doing something. Can I fling a grenade over that wall? Now, it looks like the wall is too high to fling a grenade over. I'm gonna come here. I don't have any line of sight with anything, so I'm just gonna... There's not much I can really do. Reloading. I'll reload. I've got a, I've got another turn of waiting. Um, if I was to go up there, I've got a line of sight. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 13 action points to fire. Oh, actually, What's the plan? that's not a problem. Moving out. Is it? I don't think it's a problem. Uh, don't want to fling a satchel charge. I'll, I'll put him on overwatch. I don't In think position. it's going to matter. Let's bring this guy to there. Bang. And I can't fire because I'm can out of I action help? points. What's but up? he can give it, them apes. five action points. Is it six or five? Five or six. Six. Yeah. Excellent. Um, again, Overwatch. Just gonna. I don't have enough to fire, but I do have enough to Overwatch the road. So as soon as one of them takes an action, we're good to go. Gonna bring the other guy down. Again, I'm gonna Overwatch. It's not a very big Overwatch range-wise, but it's better than nothing. Then this guy. I'll be able to get both. Bren sniped. <laughs> Kill confirmed, and that was that done. This guy can fire, but. Only against the vehicle that will explode and hurt us. End turn. More reinforcements in a turn here as well. But we should hopefully be well out of that. This guy's running around and I will ignore that because I want to get this other guy. Oh, he's a medic. He's medicating him up. Right, okay. And I am going to fire at him because even if I... <laughs> uh, even if I um, don't hit him, the morale's going to stun him. And I think that's... I think that's game. 
I think so. We can just extract now. Um, I will go there and I will shoot though. Sure. Taking the shot. Might as well. Um, when you do. Oh, that's bad. I was going to say. I, I, I really like the fire here. But I can't. Because I'll be shooting through our own people. Yes. Moving. If I try to shoot there. Would that damage us? Doesn't say it is. But they're broken. But I think. That's game. Excellent. Okay, they're fairly flawless, actually, that one. We took a couple of shots back, but we didn't take any damage whatsoever. Just a little bit of a morale hit. A bit shaken up. Extract with combo. Eliminate the officer. Eavesdrop for secondary. And kill enemies with combo. Secondary as well. 12 turns taken. We've got Musa Comba, who's a recruit scout. We've got an Enfield, number four, Harry. And a Bren Mark II. Ooh, with the drum at the top. Continue. Got a couple of experience here, a couple of levels. Extra skill points. Yeah. Restart or continue? I'm going to say continue. I don't know why I would restart that. Hello, my name is Musa Kumba. All right. Four years ago, I fought with the Tirayo Senegalese when the Fritz invaded. Many of us in the Sadly, doing classes. this so recruitment angry, means that, that there's, there's, there's two when you uh, two at a time. I was able to that means we're missing out on the other one, and the other person. Ever since. I think they were a but tank or a leader. I, I, didn't another, I didn't want another leader. I another scout. Again. Each Fritz I kill, I remember my friends and their courage and their laughter. So not a bad mission. I remember. And I think I shoot. a good example of the stealth and combat mechanics. So there's the overall campaign progress. Five stars, two days passed, couple of things gained, regions gained, and criminal relationship has gone up, apparently. Um, we need to select a region to level it up. Once you get three levels, you get a activation. Um, enemy movement time is decreased by one day. I can put there or here, which would be aid. A home base allows our troops to form bonds with resistance comrades, increasing their connection to the people we fight for. All, all allies gain max morale. That would be good, but I'm going to go with this one. Two or three segments. And there is our meter at the top, creeping towards this. Reprisal. Reprisal is German payback against resistance regions. Uh, a reprised region will have one of its three segments destroyed. Uh, Locking off the region's full strength as well as its ability. Restore damage using the repair region task, which I've not done. Tasks. It does say objectives complete a task. Not too sure how it's actually completed. Oh, reprise in three days. Walther Wick will destroy that. The Germans have started rolling up our networks in this region. Yeah, it's heating up a bit. Okay, uh... False rumours around London have uh, replaced de Gaulle as Free French leader with General Jairud, I think, of the Army of Africa. Army Gaul is storming your camp and demand you deny the story. The rumors are true or rumors are false. I'm gonna say rumors are false. That's additional seven gain for one of the factions, which is the uh, the Gaulists. You've got radicals, Gaulists, and criminals. Okay, excellent. Um, there is a team bonding we can do. Um, I'm just going to skip that for now. I just want to go ahead and do a bit of level up. So, for Jockey, we've got two skill points. Mm, I went up Commander, and I'd like to gain Order level two. But that's going to cost two to get that. I'm going to get an extra AP for myself, because it means I can order them... Order someone around and then also shoot. Uh, reduce incoming morale damage by 15%. It's not bad. I'm going to keep that extra experience for order level 2. Let's go up to King. And we have two skill points. And go with hollow points. All allies gain 50% critical chance until the end of the turn. The bonus is doubled against flank targets. Or we could go with unlock a second grenade slot. Frankly... 
He is the grenadier guy. Actually, he's a tinkerer. There's medic, corpsman, shotgunner, and tinkerer. I'm going to learn additional grenade. <laughs> Level unlocked. Gain a pocket. For our sniper, no experience. Two skill points for Vincent here, our scout. I can go with assassin. Six AP after killing an enemy with a melee attack. And I have blade master, I think. Uh, hmm. Assassin and melee, quick. That's interesting. Six AP after killing an enemy with an attack. I don't know how useful that is because normally your turn ends when you do uh, when you get a kill. But I assume that overwrites it. Assuming perhaps wrongly. I've also got cool, which is hip fire accuracy. Do you get a pair of shades with that? I don't know. And Savage Strike. Gain critical chance. Now I'm going to go with this Assassin. Alright. And then finally, we've got A skill point. We can get Shootist. The cost of aim fire is reduced by 1. And then we can get Bullet Storm level 2. Or we can go with Quick for AP. Cost of aim fire is reduced by 1. Purchase. And... Oh wow, six skill points for this fella. So, I've already got someone who's went up in... Uh, scout. Scout, yes. I've went up in Blade Master, so I'm probably going to take them... Maybe... S Ooh, your stealth kills do not produce noise. That could be good. Maybe go up this way. Room clearance, submachine gun critical chance, plus 10%. And subsequent SMG shots in the same turn get an additional 10%. Okay. Hmm, I'm probably going to take them up spotter. I don't think survivalist. But, yes. Anyway, that has been a little bit of the game. Oh, actually, sorry, I've got one more. I've got a gun, haven't I? Uh, let's see. So I've got... This Lee Enfield number four, it's the first the one I've currently got is disorientated. Weapon has a 75% chance to inflict disorientated. Accuracy is reduced. However, I can also get disrupted 100%. Targets overwatch is cancelled. Ah, so I can stop people doing overwatch. I don't really see a problem with that. Overwatch is not really a problem I experience. Uh, yeah. I mean, let's get King his second grenade. Could go with Satchel Charge or Sticky Bomb. But I'm, a, I'm tempted just with grenade. Simply because he can fling them really far. So, more grenade for him, more better. Uh, Cassidy's fine. He's got the grenade and Johnson's got the Satchel, has he? No. Who had the Satchel then? It's Trem. Okay. But we did get... Where is it? A Bren. And... That's just better. Extra ammo and only three... Reload. Excellent. Alright. Well, we're going to leave it there. That has been... A bit... Oh, France 44. Classified. Yeah, let's like say really enjoying the game. Um, I love the the mix of stealth and the combat. It has all of the staples of your your sort of turn based strategy X comma likes, but with like it's just it just reads really well. Like it's 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 very easy to see what's going to happen, whether you're going to be detected. There's very few surprises on that front. It feels fair and punishing at the same if, punishing if you just do the wrong thing like if i hung around there yeah i could have got more kills and that converts to experience or whatever but i would have been over overrun so yeah you definitely have to play the missions the uh it, it, the only that's not even criticism but it, it feels like it's been done on a budget but it's been very competently executed like the, the, i don't think it's unfair to say there's nothing to you look at it and it's like yeah there's nothing special going on it just definitely executed but yeah very much enjoying it 
and I'm certainly going to be playing more. I'm wondering what happens when you hit these points here. I'm guessing the enemy level will also be creeping up as well. But there you go. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, then by all means let me know. I'm more than happy to do another, another mission or whatever. I've got an assault one there. I've got a stealth one there. I've got an ambush one there. There's loads of different things. Oh, there's, what's that ambush there? And that's artillery. Intel, escort, wire, and fortified. Oh, there's no way we're doing escort missions. Uh, yeah. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the game. And if you want to see more, by all means, let me know in the comments. Hope you have enjoyed it once again. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>